So we should be live now. I'm going to, of course, as usual, wait for YouTube or Restream to confirm this. Hopefully everything goes as it should. Alright. There we go. Okay, I see it. Hello, how is everybody today? Good afternoon for me, and good morning, good evening, good night, whatever it is for you guys. We are back with Pokemon Legends Arceus. Um, not a whole ton has changed with the actual team itself, uh, except uh, Glacier here evolved from a Sfeel to a Celio to a Walrein. I went ahead and did that. But other than that, the rest of the team is the same. I think that what I'm going to try to focus on now, other than just like general Pokedex stuff, is I'm going to try to complete uh, Carpeer's Pokedex stuff. So that way I could swap in another Pokemon instead of having two flying types on the team. And also because like, there's only one Pokemon in our entire team that's not weak to rock. And that's Orifer. And Orpher is weak to ground, so like, I do want to swap out one of the flying types at least for someone else. Aside from that, we do go to the Cornet Highlands today. So, new area, I didn't go there last stream, even though we unlocked it last stream. But we should be able to go there this stream. There we go, they all come with. We should be able to go there this stream now though. And see what's over there. Maybe even like clear the entire area. Because we do tend to do it like relatively quickly. There we go. That's what I want to do. So to the coordinate Highlands. Which is. Hi Megan. Hi Unstable. Hi Lunar. How are all of you guys? Just all you guys. Vin's also here. Um, there's, there's a few. There's what? Yeah. Lunar, Megan, Unstable, and Devind. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that you're doing good. Gligar, as it's ground and good against Electrode. I'm going to add a ground type, I think, to my team at some point. Uh, swap a ground type out for Carpier. I'm not really sure which one, though. I don't know if I want to add Gligar because of the flying type. I don't want multiple flying types. I could maybe add something like, um, like Rhyhorn and go into Rhyperior, maybe. That could be interesting. Maybe, I don't know. What else? I need, my team is so weak to rock. I need to add something that's good with rock. So maybe also like a fighting type. That'd be good. Yeah, there's no weakness to ground, but it's the weakness to rock I'm worried about. Because if you look at my team, uh, Ignis, my Typhlosion is weak to rock. Uh, Staraptor is weak to rock. Walrein, I'm pretty sure, is weak to rock because of the ice typing. Crobat's weak to rock. Parasect's weak to rock. The only one who's not weak to rock is Luxray. Because flying types are weak to rock. And I'm glad that Monsters of the Air is able to help you out. Well, the tutorials are able to help you out. Oh, you also just got to Cornet. Nice. There you are, my girl. Welcome to the Cornet Highlands. Have I seen the Scots? I have. And I don't think I like any of them. Just personal opinion. Because, I don't know. Like, I think that Sprigatito, its eyes are, like, too big and mouth's too long. Um, I don't know what it is about Quaxi that bothers me. There's just something about Quaxi that bothers me. It looks like a mix between Donald Duck and Ducklet. And then I like to call, um, Fue Coco Apple Gator. Because it looks like an apple. Apple Gator. I don't know. I don't know if I particularly like any of them at the moment. But maybe they'll grow on me. I don't know. Maybe I'll like their final forms. We'll just, we'll have to see what happens. I expect you'll find all sorts of rock and ground type Pokemon wandering about these craggy boulder and strewn heights. I don't know, for some reason I just don't particularly like any of them yet. Maybe that'll change, I don't know. Keeping an open mind, just first impressions, I'm kind of like, eh. 
Not my favorite starters ever. And up there, right beneath the Great Rift in space-time is the peak of C Mount Coronet itself. The magnetism from it may well exert some sort of influence on the Pokemon throughout the area. Fascinating stuff. There we go. So I think... I know that... I mean, I definitely know that Lucario's in the game, so may try to get a Lucario instead of a Staraptor. I just don't know where to catch one. We'll see. But something that's actually going to cover somewhat our team's, like, massive rock weakness. Oh, there's just Luxray chilling over there. Hello. Can I just... You saw nothing. There we go. We are losing the snow area, uh, so we'd have to wait then. But just something to cover the rock weakness would be great. We'll just see what that happens to be when you get there. Okay, now let me look at the decks and see what I need to do for Staraptor specifically. Because I don't want to change anyone out on the team until all their stuff is filled in. Like, that's just kind of how I'm playing. So let's see. Staraptor is actually all the way in the front. Okay, so Air Slash more and a ton of Brave Bird. Okay. So we're almost done with Air Slash. We just need to do a lot of Brave Bird. Uh, can our straps are darn Brave Bird yet? Brave Bird? Yes, we can. Okay. I'll swap it out for Double Edge for now, and then I think... When we're done with air slash, I'll put double wedge back in because you have roost also heal. Could get probo pass, maybe. There we go. Yeah, we'll we'll see what we happen to swap it out with. Use who? Gargantuar. I don't think. Have I heard of Gargantuar? I don't know what that is. Okay, only three weaknesses, but two of them are four times. I think, I don't know, maybe. Either way, I'll get something to cover the rock weakness. Cause I know that like, uh, Glacier and Clavis, they can both like kind of counter rock, but they also have that weakness to it still, so it'd be a not a like. It wouldn't be a I'm going to absolutely send this Pokemon out against a rock type sort of thing. But I wouldn't mind swapping out Parasect later on either, because Parasect. Parasect I actually had in my team in. Let's go. Oh, that's not what I want to do. I had a Parasect in my team in Let's Go Eevee, and it's not the best Pokemon from, just from experience. So I wouldn't mind swapping out for another, like, grass type either. Gigantamax Peach. There's no Gigantamax in this game. At least not that I'm aware of. Maybe there could be and I just don't know, but there's not. And I already have an Electric type anyway. I'm gonna put Carp here in the front. Hello! Hello, Wingo. The Electrode known as the Lord of the Hollow is somewhat different from the Electrode I recall. But its electrical discharges, at least, are familiar. One false step around it could put you in danger. I think it goes dog water because these two reasons why it would be fantastic. You can battle while po yeah, I do kind of wish you could battle wild Pokemon, but also it's kind of a Pokemon Go inspired game, so I don't mind it too much. I mean, that's just kind of how it is, so whatever. It was a fun concept, it wasn't meant to be, it wasn't meant to be a, like, main series game, so I didn't mind it much. Had fun with it regardless. Yes, I did know that Ingo was from an old Pokemon game, it was actually the... Uh, first ever Pokemon game I played, so I'm quite familiar with Ingo's character. So yeah, that's cool. He's from the Unova region. If you're going to face it, you might consider catching Pokemon that can withstand electricity. 
It must be difficult being a Pokemon, don't you think? Especially when it's irritable as Electrode, then becoming frenzied to boot. So true. It's a tough old life for Pokemon humans alike. Well, well, Warden Ingo of the Pearl Clan. And oh my, the Galaxy Team grunt from before. You're punching well above your weight to seek out the Great Electro, Lord of the Hollow. Nice. Oh, you learned something new. But by the sheer tenderness of my heart, I'll grant you a trial to see if you're worthy. The greatest obstacle you'll ever face awaits you right here. Battle me if you dare. Uh, maybe another time. Hmm. Well then. Let me tell you the great many's take on the whole situation. The frenzy of our nobles is nothing other than a mark of Almighty Sinnoh's favor and protection. Why? Because it makes them stronger. Do I really need to spell out that's a good thing? We must let my lord frenzy as it may, to demonstrate the Almighty Sinnoh, uh, to Almighty Sinnoh, that the Diamond Clan lives as is right and good. This may even be, dare I say it, the very reason I'm here on this earth. Hello. What business is it of the galaxy teams anyway if Electrode lets loose a few sparks out here in the mountains? I cannot read whichever the language is. Chinese, I think? I cannot read Chinese. So please keep it in English. Really, you should do all, uh, us all a favor and swing back home to that village of yours rather than persist in this folly. And with that, bon voyage. I cannot read Chinese, though. I don't speak it. And none of the moderators do either, so greatly preferred if you keep it in English. Thank you. What a selfish outlook. These frenzies cause the Pokemon themselves such suffering. But what is it you want to do, Ember? Press on. Very well, the tracks ahead will be perilous, but I pride myself on safe driving. To meet Sneasler, Ember, you must pass through here, a wayward cave. Here, you'll find Pokemon like Golbat and their ilk, which are quite at home navigating in the dark. It's quite dim inside, so you'll need to watch your step. Modern flamethrower? I have flamethrower. Well, this is odd. The torches that light the way through the cave are gone. Could this be Melly attempting to obstruct us? Either way, there is no need for concern. I know my roots, and I will conduct us safely. No darkness nor foul weather will delay us. Onward we roll. Take care not to come uncoupled from me. Got it. So we'll just follow and go through. My hair looks red in this cave. And his jacket looks blue. But I'm pretty sure it's black. Oh, I wasn't reading. If only we're here, I'm sure it would light the way, lowering us onward. Please, forgive the unscheduled stop. He makes a lot of train references. I detect an alpha crowbat to our right. Under normal circumstances, I doubt its presence would obstruct someone so competent as you. But given the poor visibility, I propose a track change in the interest of safety. Please, follow me. Dude, do you have any idea how overleveled I am? I could probably take out that crowbat. I'm starting to recall a man who looked like me. We'd battle and discuss Pokemon things. That's Emmett, his brother. The words I like winning more than anything else flashed in my mind just now. We'll soon be arriving at Wayward Cave's exit. Even if the memories themselves have faded, it appears much still lives on in my ha uh, heart. Yes, I have three shinies. All of my team. Shiny. Well, four technically, because I got two shiny shinks. I currently have shiny Luxray, shiny Crobat, and shiny Parasect. So yeah, all over there on the bottom of the screen. This is fine progress. We're nearly home free. Wait, could those be... Let me put those torches back where they belong. This darkness could be perilous for the next person to pass through here. 
I beg your pardon for a delay. I have lit and returned the torches. My safety concerns have been addressed. Ready for departure. If you follow the track of marks by torches, reach the terminus of this cave. Okay. So just follow the torches. Hi, 11K. How are you? Okay, there's a gold bat. A gold bat we need to catch at night. I don't think it's night. Because I'm pretty sure at least when we entered it was day. Please don't spam things in chat. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Bumped the mic. Professor Leventon told me how you fell to this land from the sky. For my part, I simply found myself one day here in Hisui, a region whose name I'd never heard. All I can remember was my own name. I was still standing there in bafflement when the Pearl Clan came to my aid. I showed out a natural affinity for taming Pokemon, which is why I eventually became a warden. Uh, the cloud is a space-time rift. But still, I wonder what my true purpose is here. Ah, but now I've sidetracked us with this talk. Let's hurry onward. Hi, Alan Out. How are you doing? And welcome. Welcome back. Okay. That's a big Psyduck. Isn't it? Like, it's not just me that looks at Psyduck and thinks, man, that thing is huge. I missed. Maybe I'll look over. No, it looked at me. My aim was super off today. For Monsters of Theory, you were the only person I watched. I I used to play Monsters of Theory more. I haven't played it in like a really long time. But I still like uh, read comments and stuff on those videos. And I still kind of keep track of what's going on. Just they haven't had a new monster. Like, completing new monster, not just, like, skins and stuff. But I haven't had a new monster in more than a year now. So it kind of makes it hard for me to do things whenever they don't give me things to do. You know? So that's the main reason I haven't been playing it. Just because there's nothing really new for me to do. Oh. I was hoping I could get the back strike, but, uh, that failed. I think once there two minutes ago. Yeah, I just haven't been playing a ton at all. Is it hailing? I mean, it makes sense, because Mount Coronets and all that. Just haven't gotten... Well, haven't seen it yet. Okay, there's Stan there. Stan there is, like... Stan there is in most areas of this game. Ah. Who... Who is poison? You. Okay, what do you- Okay, yeah, I will murder you. No, no poison me. Can you tell me a spoiler? I would prefer you if you didn't. Thank you for asking. Oh, I'm all snowy. It's completely covered in snow. Go and try and use, like, Brave Bird a lot on just wild Pokemon. I think, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I wonder which Burmese is here, or if it's gonna be a Burmy at all. Oh, it's a Heracross, so yeah, not a Burmy. Hi, Axolotl, how are you? It's been a bit. A little bit anyway, not super long. All right. Um, just trying to think what I want to do to not murder it. Maybe just normal liquidation would be fine? Yeah, okay, normal liquidation was fine. Okay, now let's try and catch the Heracross. I'm doing good, how are you? I... It, I just made the circle of... How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, how are you? <laughs> I love conversation. I am 
the best at English and conversation. I have the best conversation skills, like absolutely undisputed. Waterfall. Thankfully, liquidation works fine. All right. And bop. Heracross. Then there's just an alpha moth in there. Oh, that did not work as intended. Retreat. Slowly. Crouching. Mm, conversing. I'm happy I was able to help you out. Oh, Bronzor. Hello. Speech 100. Yes, thank you. My conversation skills are the best. Okay. Doing strong or agile doesn't change too much. I think I'm going to swap to Carpier to try and just annihilate the Heracross. Because we can air slash that should just take the Heracross out. And then the Heracross won't be a problem. Yeah, no, Heracross just chosen trees. Alright. Carpier's tired now. Um, a Brave Bird probably wouldn't hurt it. I mean, it wouldn't kill the Bronzor. Yeah, okay. That's about what I thought would happen. Now we can try and see if we can catch the bronze ore. Hi! It's been quite a long time since I saw you. You were one of the people here like way at the beginning of the channel. Welcome. Welcome back. I don't really know how to properly pronounce your surname. And I don't want YouTube to think I'm cursing for saying your first name. But yeah, hello, welcome back. You've been here so long. Hi, Pax, how are you? You're another person I remember. All the people I remember coming back. Is that... Hello? T well, I will not complain. Hey, shiny Motham today, guys! Hey, come here. Uh, how do I want to do this? Don't run away. Do not run away. Just shiny moth them. Okay. See, look, we just mind our business on this channel and we find shinies. That's just how this is. Okay. I think I may use a great ball. I am very scared of you, enraged moth them. There we go. I don't want to risk, like, nothing happening. The yeah, shiny bottom looks pretty cool. Bottom's their enemy. <laughs> oh no. Yep, everyone from- You see, this is what happens when I become active again. All the old people just return. It's probably not the actual reason, it's just- Oh hey look, everyone's back. You guys never left. At least not permanently. So there we go, shiny Motham. We just do things here, and then shinies appear. Okay. Hopefully we get healed. Well, even if we don't, we may not even have to use Carpier in battle. Just saw all my subs. Well, hello. Welcome back. It's nice to have you guys still around, even when I like become mostly inactive for a few months. Okay, we currently have... We caught two shiny shinks. One of those is a Lux right now. We caught... Um, we caught the... Well, I caught both the shiny Zubat and a shiny Paris off stream. And those are on the team now and fully evolved. And now the shiny Motham. And that's all we found so far. And I say all we found, but like... That's still quite a lot. Yeah, you haven't been here in quite a while either, but very nice to have you here. I do recognize your name, so that's nice. Like a lot of, um, 
Like, if people were there a lot, or especially if they were there in the earlier days of streaming, I tend to remember them easier. So long as they don't, like, change their name and profile picture and stuff. Usually more the name. Yeah, I don't know. My luck is just... It's just been remarkable playing this for whatever reason. What's the big idea? Putting back all the torches I spent ages hiding away. Do you get some sort of amusement stomping around and ruining people's noble deeds? What's so noble about putting the torches away? What? Oh, rendering a cave impassable to people who venture inside hardly seems noble to me. Shiny Teddy Ursa? Nice. <laughs> Changed again. Well, hello, Accelerator. One stable to Monkey Man's Accelerator game. Yeah, I'm not... See, if people change their names like that, I'm not going to realize they're the same person. It's just... Okay. <clears throat> well, this just goes to show that even we wardens don't always see eye to eye. I extinguish those lights for the sake of the Pokemon that can prefer the dark. But now you're allowed to put my efforts to waste. If you think I'll just let you saunter ahead to meet Lord Electro, you're sorely mistaken. The only way you're getting past me is if you defeat my partner Pokemon. How will you proceed, Ember? I'll beat him. Yes, he has many forms. Go, Skuntank! Show these louts the true meaning of silent but deadly. Okay, man. I see you are very mature. Alright. Uh, so who'd be better to send out here? I don't have any Pokemon that are particularly, like, super effective against Skuntank. I mean, close combat would be, but... Alright. I think I'm just gonna Brave Bird. Which starter am I picking? I don't know. Not entirely sure. Okay, that recoil almost destroyed us, but you know. I don't know which starter I'd go with. I'd probably... I mean... Traditionally, I always go fire starter, so in my own playthrough, I'd probably do that. For YouTube, I'll probably do what I did for this game and put it up to vote. Listen here, neither I nor Skuntank admit defeat just yet. Our challenge to you still stands. However, I will withdraw to afford Skuntank time to recover. There's no shame in a tactical retreat. It's more of an advance if you think about it. Keep your guard up, we'll be back. Is that a Spiritomb Wisp in there? What a lively character. I cannot fathom more than Melly's intentions, but for now let us press on. Um, I ha I don't think I've seen all the shiny Hisuian forms. The only one I've actually seen would be, uh, Zoroark. It is, um, it is a wisp up there. How do I get up there, though? I don't think I can get up there. At least not now. I don't have anything that can, like, fly or climb up there. This is the ancient quarry. The stones used to build the temple atop this mountain were all cut from this place. Whether by humans and Pokemon working as one, or by the labor of Pokemon alone, I cannot say. The stones that were left behind should serve to cover us from the gazes of wild Pokemon. Ah, there you are, Ingo. Yes, Sneasler. Good thing that we're pretty close to that. Uh, Volo, was it? What is the matter, sir? I wanted to ask about that memory loss of yours. Have you considered that it could have somehow been caused by a space-time rift? Duck the final frenzied boss Avalug is a hard one. Oh, that's rough. I have no cause to think the rift is to blame, but then again I hardly remember things, so it's difficult to say with certainty. I can't remember my own home, nor my family if I had any. Are any replaying sword? Nice. Bingo was his name, though. You might do better to pose your questions to Ember, I think, if it's to do with that rift. Indeed. Well, I do hope your memories return, Warden Go. How about you, then, Ember? 
Do you remember what you saw before you fell out of that rift? Was there anything inside? Uh, there was Arceus. He didn't let me have Discord, Bolo. Arceus didn't let me have Discord. He betrayed me. Interesting. You see, personally, I suspect that whatever's on the other side of that rift is causing the strange lightning that plagues us. You think so? Indeed, I did some digging and found records indicating that the space-time rift also appeared in Hisui in the distant past. That's why I already had a name for it as it appeared, in fact. Now, what kind of world do you suppose stretches out on the other side of the rift? My guess is that it is Almighty Sinnoh's realm. But that begs the question, why is the space-time rift reopened when it closed once so long ago? And why would Ember have fallen through to us? There's just so much we don't know. Uh, this is where we blame it on Malraz. <laughs> Shiny hunting rufflet? Nice. I fervently hope you unravel this mystery, Volo. I'm sure it is people's fears over the frenzies of our nobles. And while you investigate, sir, I'll continue to prioritize the safety of the people living in this world. Oh, I'm a mere admirer of ruins and no more. If something needs investigating, then I would entrust that task to Ember. Until next time, then. Bye, Volo. You guys, um... Fun fact, Volo means wish in Latin. I learned that, like, yesterday. Volo means wish. Once we're through here, it will be just a little further. Let us move with speed, but not haste. Bye, Accelerator. And good night. Oh. Okay, Carpier's just casually dying. You guys don't see me. You see nothing. It was one of the f final bosses than Arceus I saw from a video. I would rather you not spoil things for me, but thank you. I guess. This is my first playthrough of this game. Alright. I'll just do... I'll just do it now, Joel Flamethrower. Alpha's Graveler. No worries. You do not know. It's fine. It is fine. Because I probably would have found out sooner or later anyway. It just... Well. Okay. There's a bronze zong. Maybe I can manage to catch it without it seeing me. Oh, it's looking this way. It saw me. Welp. Oh, the grabber's not even alpha. I'll say more you don't know, but I believe you're doing good. Thank you. Yeah, I've just been uh, playing on my own pretty much. Okay, strong flamethrower. I think this time. Believe you can get through this game? Thank you. I think that we've been doing fairly well so far. I mean, it's also probably partially because I'm slightly overleveled. It was not my intention. I just like to do Pokedex stuff on my own whenever I'm not streaming. And then suddenly I'm like several levels above where I probably should be. Okay, there's an Ursa Ring. Okay. I don't really- I could try and catch the Earth Ring, but I don't really see a need to because I think I've caught several in the space-time rifts at this point. Hi Cyborg, how are you? And I do agree, Legends is a really fun game. I've enjoyed it a lot so far. Okay, I don't know if we've caught many Teddy Ursa though. So maybe I'll try to catch a Teddy Ursa. Hello. Just gradually sneaking up on it. And I could try and get to turn around if I just... Over there. There we go. Oh, you forgot to catch the shine. Oh, no. 
Oh, that sucks. Huh. Does Teddy Ursa not like honey? That did not work as I wanted it to. Okay, that's fine though. We have plenty of temple stones and stuff to make more Pokeballs. There we go. Oh, he found it? Okay, that's good. Okay, so Teddy Ursa does not like honey. Do I know what Teddy Ursa likes? I don't- I don't even- I haven't even caught a single one. Okay. Not orange berries. Almost every Pokemon seems to like orange berries. Oh, you love my Pokemon videos. Thank you. I'm glad that you enjoyed them. It's great when, um, I'm able to do other things I enjoy doing, like Pokemon on the channel, too. Instead of just, uh, Roblox and Monsters of Etheria. Even if that's, like, the main thing that the channel is there for. It's nice to be able to do other things sometimes, too. Instead of just the same thing all the time. Okay, I've already caught, like, five Earth Ring. <laughs> Lilligant is the most easy boss in this game. I did think that Lilligant was fairly easy. I think that the boss I had... Out of the three bosses I fought so far, I fought Cleaver, Lilligant, and... Uh, Arcanine. I think that for some reason I had the hardest time with Cleaver. But I think that part of it was because I'm used to games like Monster Hunter. Where in Monster Hunter, you have to press B to dodge. And in this game, it's Y. So whenever I fought Cleaver, I had to kind of get used to that. And so uh, that kind of was a bit unfortunate. I kept trying to dodge, but instead I was like crouching. You know, because this is B. And then dodging is Y. So yeah, that was a little rough. Arcanine is so annoying. Arcanine was alright. I didn't have a ton of problems with Arcanine. Okay, we don't have any ground type moves. I'm just gonna leave the Luxray alone. Hello, Volo. Ah, uh, you're part of the galaxy team. I've been waiting. I came here since I heard you all were planning to set up a camp. But it seems not much progress has been made since that bronze ore is getting in the way. It's not belligerent, but it seems like it wants something, so we can't just ignore it either. Please, I think you can find out what it is Bronzor wants. Uh, I can try. Hello, Bronzor. Is it Bronzor or Bronzor? It's probably Bronzor, but Bronzor is easier to say. Did you try to get a shiny every day and I just got so I'm going to change to a different account? All right. What's up, Bronzor? Is there something over that way? I mean, I would assume so. I'm so used to not having Basque Legion, I was just gonna be like, okay, now I need to try and jump over that. I kind of forgot that I, I mean, I can still, but I kind of forgot that I had Basque Legion. I'm not used to having Basque Legion. I've played so much of this game without Basculegion. Oh, there's... Okay, I'm not gonna be able to get that. But that's there. Good to know. Oh, there's another Bronzor. Hello, Bronzor. I'm gonna try and catch this Golduck that's just chilling. Is Bronzor, like, sick or something? Huh. I saw Bronzor go flying off in this direction all of a sudden. What in the- that Bronzor, it's wounded. This is no good at all. Here, I'll fix it right up. Oh, so it was injured. I have to do it. Bronzor should be fit as a fiddle now. Seems the Bronzor at the new campsite was looking for its friend this whole time. I'm glad you looked into it. Otherwise, we may have been too late to treat this Bronzor. That I'm playing that Bronzer would have died. That's actually kind of sad. Found a Mime Junior first time playing on this account. I don't know if it's rare. 
I think it's fairly rare. I haven't found too many of them. This land is dangerous, even for the Pokemon that call it their home. It may be wise to be extra prepared as you explore this area. I'll be sure to keep a fine lineup of rare stocks for you, so please buy anything that you need. Ah, and it seems this b uh, the base camp has been all set up while we were talking. In which case, I should get settled in as well. So long. Okay, so we do have the mountain camp now. And that gold rock wants to murder me. Alright, adios. Okay, so we do now have the mountain camp. Nice. Hello, hello. Oh, and the bronze are just showing here. That's nice. And then, of course, as usual, I could just throw everything in here. We got a fair amount of items. That's very nice. I think, what, is that about one of every stone? I mean, we don't have a moonstone or a dusk stone. I don't know if there's any Pokemon that need to evolve with those in this game, though. Because off the top of my head, I don't recall there being any. But there very well could be. Okay. Now everyone's all healed up. And we could have Carpeer out a little more and try to get the Aerial Aces and uh, Brave Birds out of the way. Alright, so let's go over here. Okay, there's like... What is that? Actually. I'm not quite sure should get that. Maybe? Huh. There's just a Magna Zone up there. Is that? That is a Magna Zone, right? Yeah, it, it is. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Hello, Wingo. I return. You never expect to be able to climb such sheer cliffs as these, yes? But with Sneezer as an ally, it becomes the work of a moment. She is so at home on a cliff face, one might think she knew some secret, some hidden move. What am I saying? Hidden moves? There are no such things in Hisui, surely. Yet, I feel as though I was on the cusp of remembering something just now. HMs. Just who was I before I came to Hisui? If you fell from the sky, you came from another world altogether, most likely. Perhaps a Pokemon battle with you would jog this memory loose. Would you want to meet the battle, Ember? Alright. Will do. All aboard, then. Machoke, prepare for departure. Okay, so I've got... I chose to train Carpier and dude setting out a Machoke. So this should be fine. Well, yeah, I mean, I would imagine that you get Sneezler throughout, like, the story, so we'll be able to climb up. Okay, we'll just bra Brave Bird, because we're close enough to camp where you can heal easily, too. And we need to do, like, Brave Bird 40 times for the Pokedex for Staraptor. Oh, and Andy's got Tangela. Okay, that stun spore is rather unfortunate. Hopefully we can Brave Bird through it. Uh... Okay, Carpier is gonna faint here, but that's fine. You did good, Carpier. Okay, one HP, so we could, we could swap out. Unless the Glyscor kills, the Glyscor is going to kill. Need a good carp here. Uh, we just got to the Coronet Highlands today. And we're fighting Ingo currently. Okay. I actually don't know what moves I need to do with the Glacier. But best bet because Glyscor. I would imagine we probably need to do Liquidation. So I'm going to do Liquidation. Adios. Glide score is cool. Bravo, excellent.
Your talents has brought you to the destination called Victory. Now, allow me to call Sneezler. Yes, yeah, see old boy. Sneezler looks so weird. It's so long. Long. Long Sneezler. Allow me to introduce you, Ember. This keen clawed Pokemon is Sneezler. Would you be so kind as to pay your uh, flutes for her here? Can do. Sneezler looks really weird. With Sneezler's like poison fighting, I already have a Crobat on the team, so I don't know if I would have another poison type. Long. Yeah, f fighting poison. So I don't think I would have another poison o poison type on the team if I already have Crobat. Sneezer opens your hearts and learns well the sound of your playing. Alright, Toxic Plate. Nice. I'm afraid this is my final stop. Please proceed up the cliffs of Sneezer's aid and quell the lord up in the mountains. I'll return to Jubilife Village. Please convey my well wishes to the warden Melly. Now then, all aboard! Name it Lonk. You can now call Sneezer to go and descend sheer cliffs and rock faces. My naming scheme currently is on Latin, so I probably wouldn't, but it's interesting. Try to copy the sound of the flute you play to get the mounts, and my ears start bleeding, because he ain't good playing little plastic flute. Ah, uh, that's, that's unfortunate. Have an alpha Sneezer? Nice. You can climb up and down cliffs, ledges, and other sheer surfaces of Sneezer Rosade. Got it. I probably should have read the rest of that, but I did not. I doubt it'd be too hard to figure out, though. Like, what do we do? Sneezer. Okay. Interesting. So you just... Okay. I'm just in this little box. All right. Just two little eyes. Okay, where's the camp again? It's over there. That's not what I meant to do. I can now get that wisp, except it's day now and I don't think it's still there. Hello. I'm a sneezer. <laughs> I, sneezer's okay. It's just really long, so I think it's a little weird. I don't have any, like, negative feelings towards it, though. It's just really long. Long, Sneezler. So long. You just gotta, like, crouch it. That would be, like, the most uncomfortable thing ever. Just, like, being crouched into this little, uh, box while Sneezer's, like, walking around. It'd be so uncomfortable, I believe. Yeah, we I prefer Weavile over Sneezler, definitely. It's just an odd design. Wisps are always there no matter what. No, I'm pretty sure the wisps only come out at night. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they're only there at night. Okay, going down there. Okay, let's descend. Down we go. Forgot what it's called Weavile, fair enough. Sometimes at night, but most of the day. All right. Guess I just didn't realize that. I mean, I think that they can be there when it's like, yeah, see? It just appeared. So I think it's, like, only at, like, sunset and sunrise, maybe? Like, that one just appeared just now. So they're not always there. I don't know. You can only see them at night? That would make sense. 
That would make a lot more sense. I just wanted the beans. Oh! Okay, Gligar. The Gligar sees me now. So I must, um... Dispose of the witness. Then I'll try and catch that or Gligar. I should check which moves I need to do with Walrein. If you're going to get close up to Okay, that makes sense. That makes a lot more sense. Alright, to wall rain. Okay. Ice beam blizzard. Alright. Uh, can Glacier learn either of those moves at the moment? Yes, can learn both of them. So ice beam and then blizzard, I think, is what we'll do. There we go. And let me double check any strong or agile moves we need to do with it. Strong moves. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, Breath of the Wild. I've never actually played a Zelda game. Well, I have, like, I've played the very first Zelda. Like, Legends of Zelda. On, like, my mom and stepdad's uh, NES. But that's about it. And I was very bad at that. I know, like, modern... The modern versions of those games are a lot different now, though. It's just I've not, I don't have experience with that game, like, series at all, in general. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, please. Oh, no. Heh. <laughs> I don't want them to see me. Okay, that's... You see no- Darn it. No, you see nothing. No. No! Darn it. Okay, well I don't need to- I don't need to catch him without them seeing me at least. No, you can get alphas. You can just like- you can just throw a Pokebot and catch it, I think. I've done that a few times. I mean, I guess it is higher level than me, so maybe not, but... I know I've just caught some. Before. Casually. Now you're murdered. Alright. Would an Agile Water Pulse kill it? I'm scared it would. I don't really have anything weaker. I've not beaten the Electrode yet, no. So maybe I'd have to do that first, I don't know. Maybe that's a thing. Then swap to Parasect and try to weaken the Gibble and catch it. We could... Stun Spore. Get the Paralyze. And then... Absorb. Okay, gotta beat Electro to catch off us. That makes sense, I guess. Shiny Jiffum? Nice. There we go. We caught the Gibble. Okay. Now I need to heal from when they attacked me. To so defeat the Gabite, we caught the Gibble. That's nice. I like I like dragon types in general, so I'm always happy to receive a little Gibble. Celestica Ruins. Ooh. Oh, there's a there's a 
Dialga statue there, and there's a Palkia statue there. Nice. Okay, there's some gravelers over there. Oh, is that an alpha gibble? You, do you see me? You see me. No, go away. No, I love dragon types. I love dragons in general. Okay, well, strong guys beam. Just to get some of those strong... I was going to say, just to get some of those strong star moves all the way, and then it just evaded me. Rude. Oh my gosh. Uh, no, thank you. I would rather just play on my own. I'll figure it out. I kind of, because I play games like that, like, Monster Hunter is very similar to how fighting in this game goes. Oh no, that's a nose pass. That's not a gibble. It's not even an alpha, it's just a nose pass. Bunk. Oh, we got the nose pass. There we go. Yeah, I'm sure. Because that's the fun of games like this, like, um, Pokemon Legends Arceus, like Monster Hunter. Like, they're not necessarily going to be easy at first, but you can learn them and figure them out. You know? It's more fun if you kind of learn it yourself. In my opinion. That's just how I play games. No matter the difficulty. I didn't have help yet with, like, the previous bosses or anything. You don't see me. No! Oh well. I don't really care now. I've lost interest. What's in the box? Oh, it's a Voltorb. Hi, Voltorb. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I have tried Animal Crossing New Horizons. I haven't done the channel, though. It's just like a game I play kind of on my own. Why did I? I don't know why I sent out Carpier either. Okay, guy. I don't know. Guess I'll just brave bird the Gligar. Why am I brave birding the Gligar? I mean, I guess I can catch it now. All right, let's try to catch the Gligar. Then we'll go around and catch the Voltorb. I'll figure it out. I'll figure like shut out. Yep, that's about what I expected. All right, so now I'll send out send out Orfer because then the electric moves won't be as big a problem. Of course, it uses energy ball, that, but you know, it works. There we go. So we got both of them. Kind of... Should I go back and heal? Yeah, I should probably go back and heal. Oh my goodness, it's so far though, actually. Okay, I'll go back and heal. I'd rather do that. My first shiny ever... Um... The first shiny I ever found was a Skorupi, but I didn't catch it, I accidentally killed it. The first shiny I ever caught... Um, or like obtained. Not including like guaranteed shinies, like the red Gyarados in like Heart Gold, Soul Silver, and... Uh, I think the Gibble or Gabite or something that you get in one of the Univan games. I don't remember which one. Not including those. I think it might have been... Well, there's a shiny Greninja I got from a Wonder Trade once. In... Like... 
Either Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire, one of those games. There was... I caught a shiny tentacool. And a shiny Linoon. Um... I don't know, I don't remember which ones came first, though, is the main thing. I'd caught... what else? Just shinies over, like, across time. There's also been, I think... There was a shiny Spiro in one of the Let's Go games. Um, what else? Shiny Rock Ruff in Sun and Moon. Shiny Grumpig in uh, Sun and Moon, I think. Yeah. The, no, the Rock Ruff was Sword Shield, not Sun and Moon. I've gotten, like, quite a few, just kind of over time, so I don't remember all the ones I've gotten. I just kind of remember a few of them. And then there's a lot of Let's Go Shinies. But Shinies were pretty easy to find in Sun and Moon because, like, if you did the Ultra Space mini game a lot, it was kind of easy to find them if you went far. Which is where I got the Shiny Grumpigs from. And, oh, that's a Sneasel. I was trying to figure out what that was. It's a Hisuian Sneasel. And I think there's another shiny I found in Sword and Shield, but I don't remember what it was. I mean, other than the Zero Aura, which was the vent, that doesn't count. I don't think. But yeah, so just kind of, I found a few over the years. I don't remember which one's the first one, though. I'm going to just say probably the Tentacle. All right, I didn't catch it, so I'm just gonna move on. It's nice being able to go up cliffs like this now, instead of having to like force your way up them with a stantler. Well, weird deer. I'm not used to weird deer existing yet. Oh, there's a Gyarados. He's just chilling. Let's like. It's a very chill Gyarados. Oh, there's two of them. There's some very chill Gyarados. Can I just... Oh, no, it sees me. It's no longer a chill Gyarados. It now wants my blood. Probably. I had a Razor Claw. I'm probably not going to add a Sneezer to my team. I already have a Crobat. I already have a Poison type. The new update for Monsters of Etheria. I mean, all they did was, like, add some skin meshes, right? I don't think they added any new monsters, as far as I'm aware. Like, most time, all that they add really is, uh... Like, bug fixes, skin meshes, or, like, event skins. Or codes, sometimes. Uh... I don't have space. Of course, I don't have space. Oh, there's a Haunter. There's an Awful Hyperior. Which is significantly scarier than a Haunter, I'd say. That's all Sadi. You see, a new monster would help me out a lot. Because even if I do record a lot of stuff, it doesn't really matter what I stream or whatever. Because the things that still do best... They're still the Monsters of Etheria videos. They do the best. I already have a Pikachu, I think. Oh, you still have Pikachu on yours. Oh yeah, I wish you luck in getting a Pikachu. I was like, I don't think I even see a Pikachu here. Found on yours, nice. I mean, I'll get one for the decks eventually. It's just I don't have any reason to go on my way to get one right now. You know? Oh, that's not what I want to do. Back up we go. Hello, Haunter. How you doing? 
Please don't murder me. Dark type moves? Yeah, I could do that. I mean, I don't have much reason to, though. It doesn't help any of the Pokemon on my team. But I could do that. With like a Pikachu sound? Yeah, Pikachu didn't used to always say Pikachu in the games. It has... It had its own cry, and then they just made it say Pikachu. But it wasn't always like that. There we go. Yeah, it sounded like that. Yeah, I'm going to, I'll get a sneezer for research points at some point, just not my main focus at the moment. I just, I'm just playing the game how I want to play the game. Instead of just doing whatever other people want me to do. I'm just doing my own thing. And hey, I've made it this far, so I think doing my own thing's just fine. Thank you, though. Alright, so we've made it back here. The team's pretty much, like, it's already healed up. Um, It's a grass electric type, so we're probably going to want to do stuff with either Clavis or Ignis. Uh, let's take a look at Ignis's, not Ignis's, Clavis's moves. We want Spore in general because of the, yeah, boss fight time, I think. We want Spore in general because of the uh, decks. And I think that we want X Scissor over Absorb at the moment. Well, we'll also have Absorb. We'll have it over... I mean, there we go. That's better. That's better move set. Let's see if... Um, thank you. I mean, what if I don't need luck? What if I actually do fine? What if you're underestimating me? I mean, I don't doubt that I may need luck, but... What if I'm fine? Okay. What else? Is there anyone else I want to change the moves of? Oh, no, I, that's not what I want to do. Change moves. Okay, no, you're fine as you are. I'm pretty sure that, yeah, wall rain's fine, that, fine as it is. And... Okay, I believe that Sono is fine as is. Is there a cutter better than air slash? No, it's not. There we go. So yeah, this is about what we want. I think I'll have Ignis in front. Alright. Boss time. Hope it's not hard like the Monster Hunter Stories boss. Oh my gosh, yes, that... Uh, what was it? it? was a... I can picture it, but I suddenly forgot the name. Barioth? It wasn't a Barioth. It was the Boulder Boy. The adorable Boulder Boy. I, for some reason, I cannot remember his name. Basarios! That Basarios destroyed me. <laughs> oh, you see a shiny Magikarp, but can't catch it. Oh, that sucks. Welcome to Moonview Arena, the seat of the Lord of Lord Electrode. I know I've not exactly been supportive of you reaching this place, but a part of me did hope you'd make it. Call me contradictory all you like, Galaxy Grunt, but such is life. Embracing complexity of both ourselves and the world can only help us grow. As a member of the Dining Clan, my highest calling is to please Almighty Sinnoh. And right now, that means I must protect my lord by stopping you where you stand. If you still wish to defeat me and gain entry to lecture at sea, you and your little Pokemon are welcome to give it your best shot. Am I fighting you again? Let's go, Skuntank. Give him another whiff of your silent deadliness. You're going to be destroyed. I... Are you even going to be a higher level than you were last time? Oh, well, there's Zubat and Skorupi now. Alright. Alright. 
I'm just gonna agile infernal parade these. Well, the Zubat, I think. Okay, then the Scroopy's going Agile style. Oh, bite. Kind of forgot that they were Dark types. Okay, that's gonna hurt a bit. Okay, yeah, that hurts a little more than a bit. But that's fine. Let's bring in... Sono. Because why not? Yeah, his two Antiflosion's very cool. Okay. Yeah, I can just like agile air slash a scroopy and then destroy the scun tank. There we go. And then yes, we could And we could also leech life, but I don't really want to. They have shiny alpha, not yet. Haven't had that much luck. There we go. Now I'll finish off with the leech life, I think. Because I know I need to do leech life for Crobat, too. And leech life isn't a terrible move. Not anymore. Used to be. Nice. Let's make one thing clear. I didn't lose. You may have won, but there's a difference. I just lacked, uh, time. Yeah, so I'm afraid there simply wasn't enough time for me to raise my Pokemon nice and strong. Ah, could this be why Adamant is always going on and on about time being a precious thing? You know, if you had time, I would also have time to make my Pokemon even stronger, right? Yay! My word, the Diamond Clan and all you know, truly are never-ending founts of wisdom. Is it perhaps- it's font, right? I don't know. Screw English. Yes, yes, I know what comes next. You want to know what pleases Lord Electrode so you can make some bombs for it. Well, I'm afraid I won't be able to help you. Because I have completely forgotten what Electrode likes. What's the matter? Upset? Too bad Anger doesn't make bombs. Money is already giving you the runaround, isn't he, Amber? I guess it's my fault for not telling an advanced what Electra likes. So here's the. Adaman! What now? I can hear you just now, you know. Are you really going to tell this little noodle what she needs to find, just like that? Lest we all forget, you're the leader of the Diamond Clan. Why do you bother with these galaxy louts? Use your eyes, Muddy. Haven't you even looked at your frenzy, Lord? Don't you feel even a twinge at how it suffers, fighting to control the energy that's bursting out of it? I see nothing but Pokemon overcome with joy at being among Almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Anyway, it's not like trials and suffering are always cause for doom and gloom. These things exist to help us grow. I'm sorry, Muddy. I can't write off these frenzies as some trial from Almighty Sinnoh. That's why I'm doing the best I can to help out Ember here. This is bigger than what the... What team or clan you belong to. Oh, and by the way, I wasn't just going to tell her that she needs crunchy salt. I was going to go right ahead and give it to her. Now, it's time to make some bombs. So lend a hand, both of you. Fine. At the end of the day, let none say that the great Melly shirked, that to, uh, shirked his duty as his warden. I hope you make your precious bombs. There, I made you a practically infinite supply of bombs, so chuck all you like at Electrode. Alright, thank you. But don't underestimate my lord's strength. I very much doubt the likes of you can quell it. Alright. So even knowing you're doomed to fail, you still wish to pit yourself against Electrode. I'm ready to battle. Heh. <laughs> you have a great deal more pluck than you have sense, I'll give you that. Word of advice, don't stop moving while you're battling Electrode, or you'll be dead in no time. Alright, so just keep moving. Got it. 
And now here's where I stop paying attention to chat for the most part and just focus. Okay, there's a bunch of Voltorb. And there's Electrode. A giant Pokeball man. Is he, like, completely hollow? Thank you, Ventowder. Alright, so I need to keep on moving. Okay. So that's following me. Oh. Okay. So there's these balls that are following me. Oh, I accidentally ran into the border. Okay, that's not good. Okay, I need to figure out how to get rid of... How do I get rid of that? Okay, I can't throw stuff at it. Oh my gosh, I need to not run into the edge. Okay, do I just need to keep... Okay, I just need to try and figure out how to deal with this. Okay. Oh, what's going on now? What, what are you doing? You're just, okay. And now you blow up. Okay, now I could send in and do battle. Okay, this is interesting. You know, it's like kind of derpy. How much is that gonna hurt? Okay, it hurt a bit, but we're all right. Okay, we could probably, with strong overheat, kill it. Maybe. Yeah, strong over you. Don't tell me to run, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, and now I just throw stuff at it. As you do. Oh. Okay, so I just run until it tires itself out and then throw stuff at it. Oh, oops. Okay, let's so just keep moving around. Everything's blowing up. Throw stuff at it where I can. And then just don't get hit by moving electricity balls. Electro balls. Is that how Electro Ball actually works in game? I kind of doubt it, but I mean, possible. So I need to not be throwing stuff at it constantly. I just need to move around. Okay, now it's going to do its big explodey thing. Okay, so I just need to avoid the big explodey thing. Then it does its big explodey thing. And then I can fight it. Okay, he's gonna thunder. That's gonna hurt. And then I'm gonna... Oh, I almost did Infernal Pred on accident. And I'm gonna strong overheat. It's definitely a very different battle than the other one so far. Okay. So we got him more than half down. So that's decent. And now I just need to keep kind of running around and not get blown up. Because if I slow down too much... Oh, there's a Voltorb there. Because if I slow down too much, then the Electro Ball is going to catch me. Okay, what's going on here? I would try dodging through the electro balls, but I kind of don't want to risk doing that. Okay, is that a third one or is that a second one? I can't tell. There we go. Okay, avoid those. Okay, what is? Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, run, 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 no! Hey, I did okay. <laughs> hey, I'm alive! It's a miracle. Uh, I, I missed it. Oh, shoot. That's not good. 
Uh, basically, at the end of like each area, there's like a noble Pokemon you have to quell. So it's not end game necessarily. I can't believe I missed the opening for that though. That really sucks. It's because I was trying to switch to Clavis instead of sending an Ignis again. Okay. Now it's the fast ball. And now I just need to run for my life. Okay. It's definitely a fairly intense battle, though. I'll give it that. My goodness. Okay, it's gonna... Oh, it went Thunder Wave? That's actually kind of frustrating. Okay. So, I wonder if I could... Would a strong x scissor be enough? I'll try it. I kind of don't think it will be, but we'll try. Hey, it was enough. Okay. Need to throw bombs. Okay, and now we just... Okay, it's starting off with that super fast ball. Okay. Keeping an eye on that ball, making sure it doesn't catch up to me. Oh, there's two of them now, because of course there are. Why would there not be two of them? Okay, but it does mean that there's not really enough time to slow down and actually throw stuff at it. You just kind of have to constantly run. And also my thumb is like slide, like slowly sliding off the joystick. Okay, I tried. So yeah, it's definitely not worth the risk. Okay, okay. Yeah, it was not worth it. I tried to see what would happen. It was not a good idea. Okay, so now it tires itself out, and then we throw in the Parasect, and then we should be good. This should be it. Okay, Clavis avoid the attack. And now we could just Strong Exeter and be fine. Alright, and then we just need to throw the bombs, and we should- we- this should be it. First try, guys! Yes! So yeah, just constantly run, pretty much, is what that fight is. Constantly run and fight it. Fight it when you can. Oh my gosh, if the computer died, that would suck. Well. First try. You managed to make it through. <sighs> Received the zap pit from Electro. Nice. We have not lost a noble fight yet. We have not lost any yet. Yay! I feel like that means that the next one is going to absolutely obliterate me. This is where the Monster Hunter skills come in handy. Because <laughs> there are definitely... Because, like, the kind of style of game that Noble fights have... Like, it is the kind of, like, Monster Hunter where you're dodging their attacks and then you're trying to get your own attacks in. Because it's not, like, turn-based like a normal Pokemon battle is. It's more active doing stuff. It's very similar to the style of gameplay that's in Monster Hunter, and I've played a lot of Monster Hunter, so that kind of comes into play when I do things like this. There are definitely fights in Monster Hunter that I think I've had a harder time with than I have with Electrode. Probably dies the last one a few times? Maybe. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Because also, it's also okay to lose sometimes because... It gives you, you know, you need to have a chance to kind of learn what it's doing. But here it's kind of easy. So far with the Pokemon, like the Noble fights. It's not necessarily, the fights are easy. It's it's easy to figure out what the patterns are. 
And it's kind of easy to figure out what exactly you need to do to avoid things. So that's... It's easier to adapt to. That was more... Uh, my point there. Oh, for shame. What utterly... What utter calamity. <laughs> I agreed to make those accursed bombs, yes. But now that Almighty Sinnoh's precious blessing has vanished forever, it's just so unbearably sad. Is that how you see it? Electro looks relieved to me. Glad it's suffering zended, probably. Oh, come on, Adam. And seriously, that's just your wishful thinking, nothing more. All your preaching doesn't ruffle me one bit, but if Almighty Sinnoh grows angry at me because of this, I don't know what I'll do. I arrive, right on schedule. Hello, Inko. Now, what did you bother coming back for? Only say that I recalled some things after Ember did me the honor of traveling with me. Things to do with the world where I believe I lived before my memories were lost. Most people there caught Pokemon, lived, the, uh, lived at them, formed supportive partnerships with them. And then there were the Pokemon trainers. The ones we called Pokemon trainers were truly devoted to the craft. They always looked towards their next challenge and had Pokemon battles every chance they got, all to help themselves and their Pokemon grow. Through battle, trainers forged bonds of understanding with their Pokemon, and with their opponents and their Pokemon too. With everything, I suppose. If Pokemon and people work together, we can forge new paths forward. We'll be lost to history if we go on believing only Pokemon can be strong, or if we go on fearing them instead of understanding them. Interesting. Was your world like Gingo described too, Ember? Uh... Yes and no? We'll go yes. Depends on which world we're talking about. I'd never have thought such a world could exist. Oh, once again, the brilliant Warden Meli has re realized something rather clever. It's not just my Pokemon that need to be strong, it's me as well. The greater my valor and might, the more my Pokemon can reach their potential. It's- I really enjoy it. It's a nice, um... I think if I were to describe Pokemon Legends Arceus, it's like a mix between Pokemon, Monster Hunter, and Pixelmon. <laughs> Because you kind of have the more open world feel. And also the kind of go around, catch whatever, do whatever. But then you also have, you know, the Pokemon and you have kind of the story. And then big areas and kind of dodging around doing stuff like Monster Hunter. It's a nice mix of them and I enjoy the game. You can battle people in the training grounds very soon. Alright. I wonder if Almighty Sinnoh will be pleased once I've achieved exactly that. Yeah, a little bit of Breath of the Wild. It's just, it's a nice mixture of a bunch of different games that I kind of enjoy. So it's just, it's a game I enjoy. And I easily can spend just a lot of time in it. Like, again, if I'm not streaming it, then I'll just kind of wander around the areas we've already been to. And just do stuff without furthering the story. And you can spend so much time doing even that. Because it gives you... Even if you're not focused on the story and progressing through it, it still gives you like a Pokedex and a checklist of things that you can do. Like use this move a certain amount of times, catch this Pokemon a certain amount of times, and so on. So there's still stuff to do, especially if like you like completing stuff like that. Hey Adam, and share with me again the wisdom of all my Sinnoh passed on among our clan. Alright, alright, open your ears, shut that big mouth and listen well, my friend. Give not into sorrow, give not into anger. Offer only friendship to those around you. Give not unto sorrow, give not unto anger. Bring not almighty Sinnoh to sorrow. For that is when time's flow will cease. And there you have it. Bravo, excellent. Please, all of you, do your best and run toward the destination, an even higher state. Of course, your higher state is clear, Amber. It surely lies the next lord. Now, this time I really will make the complete return trip to Jubilee Village. Perhaps it's someone like Ember to show that Pokemon need not be feared. The people of Hisui will find new tracks forward. Now, begging your pardon, I owe Commander Common in my reports. Until next time, Ember. Adios. Can we find a way to honor our past while also forging a better future? 
Maybe that's what Almighty Sin Arroyo wants from us. After all, it rules over all time. And it created everything there is. Be ready to shield your eyes, Galaxy Grunt. I'm going to polish up both myself and Electrode until our strength and brilliance are blinding. Alright. Nice, we completed a bit of Pokedex for both of them. And none of our Pokemon fainted, actually, so that's great. It's a good battle. Definitely, like, the most intense one so far. And then I think out of the ones we had, like, the Litigant one was, like, the most, like, relaxed. Because you kind of, there's a very clear pattern to it. And the Electrode one's just kind of chaos and just constantly run. You know, I'm probably actually thinking of it. I don't think I actually, like, ran during the Electrode battle. I probably should have. I just didn't think to, because running in this game is not the best. Because the control for running, it's, um, I don't know. You see, but you have to, like, press down on it and then move forward. So it's, like, it's not the best. I don't know. It's not like a button that you could just press down and hold. It's kind of the mo one of the most uncomfortable run buttons in the game, I think. But usually if you're moving around quickly, you're on, like, weird gear or something. So it's not that bad, but still. Yes, yeah, so there's multiple. So if you look at the save screen, you could see, like, we have stamps for each boss that we did. It's like, first there's Cleaver, then there's Lilligant, then there's Arcanine, then there's Electrode. And then apparently next there's Avalug. So you'll have, like, these big areas. See? And you'll have Jubilee Village, and then you have, like, the Obsidian Field Dance, and then you do... Basically, you do something that gets you, like, the mount of that area. So here it's Weird Deer, and then you do the Noble Battle, where it's Cleaver. And then you go to the Crimson Marlins, where you do the quest to get Ursa Luna. And then Ursa Luna is basically, like, dowsing machine, sort of. And then you fight, um... Lilligant. Then over here it's Basque Legion, so you get Surf basically, and then Arcanine, and then here it's Sneezler, so you can do the climbing, and then Electrode. And then I believe in the next area it's uh, Braviary, so you get Fly basically, and then Avalug. So it's a kind of. That's the kind of. Uh, cycle. Cycle is the best word I think I can think of for that. Hi Austin, how are you doing? Surprised for a second I was the only one watching. I think that most people been here just not actively talking all the time. Like some people just kind of lurk and sit there and watch. Okay, so we need to get heavy Voltorbs. I think that for the rest of this particular episode I may just kind of do what I did last time. Yep. I think I may just do what I did last time and kind of, uh... Just do side quests and whatnot. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry, weird ear. I'm sorry, weird ear. <laughs> I didn't mean to just jump off a cliff with you. Weird ear's probably very happy with me. But I'll probably just focus on, like, side quests and, uh, just other random stuff today. There we go. How long have we been streaming? I actually, for some reason, it's being weird today. And I can't actually see everything I can normally see when I'm streaming. So I'm not entirely sure how long it's been. Uh, looks like an hour and a half. Yeah, about an hour and a half. Okay, so what's that wanting us to do? Is that wanting us to return to... It does want us to return to Jubilife. So we could do that, and then we could see what other things we're doing for the rest of the stream. Okay, hopefully... Okay, that did not hurt me. That's good. Okay, so yeah, now we can kind of go everywhere. The only thing that we can't do is fly. Oh. Crunchy salt. More crunchy salt. Hello, Snaggle Lover. How are you? That's an Alpha Rhyhorn. Hello. There's, like, nowhere to hide, so my tactic of just sitting somewhere and chucking a Pokeball at it may not be the best tactic here. 
But I can try. There's nothing stopping you from trying. I just have to hope it doesn't look in my direction. So it's kind of uh, depends a little bit on luck. Just don't. Okay. Yeah, we did evolve Glacier. No, now Glacier's big. Big wall rain. You have a fully evolved team now. And now it's also kind of focus on. Is that both an Alpha Chimeco and an Alpha Steelix? Okay. Oh, and there's Nonix just chilling over there. Okay, then there's Ursaring down there. Okay, there's an Onyx just chilling there. The Onyx has seen me. I just, I've noticed I kind of prefer just going the stealth route for things. Because then my Pokemon don't get damaged. I just throw Pokeballs and stuff and boom, we're good. Darn it. It saw me. Yes, yeah, nice beefy boy. Actually a girl, but... I don't know. Glacier is actually a girl. I just said boy. But then I realized, oh wait, that's the wrong gender actually. Alright. Vaskinegen. Okay, can Vaskinegen safely go down a waterfall? Do I want to test that? Hey Vaskinegen, how do you feel about waterfalls? Can you just go down them and be fine? This doesn't feel safe. Hey, it was actually fine. Can you go up waterfalls? Nope. Basque Legion doesn't know waterfall, but we can go down. And welcome back, Axolotl. There we go. Hello, Luxio. Okay. Up. Oh. I was hoping the Luxray did not see me yet, so I could have tried to just throw a Pokeball at it. But that's not exactly what- is that just a random Probopass statue? Huh. Okay. Cool. Now we'll collect that. And now we'll head back to Jubilife just so I can do what that is. Uh, what did you miss? Oh, you're gone. I need to remember exactly when you left. What was the last thing you were here for? Oh, hey, Duskstone. Oh, and we got the Dawnstone. I forgot that the Dawnstone existed somehow. Okay. And that's everything I don't need on me right now. Lots of stones. Yeah, I, I defeated the Electrode. No, I'll just kind of finish the story arc for this, and then we'll just kind of do random stuff. Hi, Bob Bricks. How are you? Okay, yeah, we defeated Electrode, and now we're heading back to Jubilife. Okay, yeah, so we can report stuff. You shiny moth them. And then we'll return. It just I want to trigger next story stuff, so that way I can kind of go between places. Nice. So here's a wee update here. This, who likes every food? Which one of you was it that liked every food? Parasect. Parasect will just eat everything, apparently. Absolutely everything. Nice. <laughs> yeah, we've caught a good amount of those. All right. And then definitely not enough to rank up. So yeah, we can report to Komodo, trigger that, and then just continue doing side quests and whatnot. We can return to earlier areas too to complete those quests. Because we haven't done the guaranteed shiny pony type quest yet. And other things. Like there's a few side quests I've kind of done off camera just because I run into them. But aside from that, I don't know. I don't know why you got that pop up. Okay, we'll report to Commodo. Commodo! Oh, Commodo. Hello. Yep, 
Yeah, Sneezer would absolutely destroy in a rock climbing competition. Hmm. Sword and Melia believes that the frenzies of these Pokemon are some sort of trial set by Almighty Sinnoh. We cannot know if this is the case or not, but it does beg the question. Why ever would this Almighty Sinnoh drive the nobles to frenzy? Yep. Is angered by something? Or does it seek to drive a wedge between people and Pokemon? Well, far be it from us humans to fathom the thoughts of Pokemon. Yeah, if... I don't think it would be Arceus that's sending everything into Frenzy. Because why would Arceus send me here, like, to do stuff if it's just going to cause a ton of problems? It kind of seems counterintuitive. Because otherwise it's like, it's causing problems and then solving me to just... Well, sending me to solve them. Unless it's just a bored, like, di like deity. Which makes sense, because... You know, it could be something like, uh... Oh my gosh, no one here except Vintad or will know what I'm talking- It could be like, um... Like Reality or Orgo in Songs of Lights or Emberverse. You know making villains and threats and problems and then also sending people there to solve those problems. So maybe Arceus is doing something like that. Maybe he's just bored. But <laughs> otherwise it kind of seems a little counterintuitive. And what is that space-time rift anyway? What caused it to open? Hmm. But you must be tired. Go on then, to the Wallflower. Get some rest while you can. I've instructed Benny to prepare you his finest potato mochi. Yay! Not the long dragon thing, the one that lives in the messed up world. Does, oh, Giratina? Maybe. Giratina hasn't been mentioned, like, at all in this game so far, though, but I guess it's possible if, like, Arceus, Pocky, and Diog are here. Because Giratina is, like, the fourth of Chios. That makes sense. It could be him. Dinner's on Kamado tonight. Eat your fill. Food. What an enticing aroma. My appetite just went through the roof. This is generous for the boss. Well, I've heard talk that our progress surveying Pokemon has made gathering ingredients so less uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. Onerous. Or at least less dangerous task. Let's see if Garatino is here. I mean, it's Sinnoh, so it makes sense if Garatino is here. It just hasn't been mentioned, like, the entire game. But can we talk about how you've gone from being some nobody from nowhere to basically the hero of Hisui? Yes, that's called being the main character of a video game. You're always some nobody from nowhere who becomes the hero. <laughs> I stream a Pixelmon server every Saturday. I... Don't have... I don't have a Pixelmon server. I don't know if I can run that very well. Because even running Pixelmon on its own is kind of iffy. I don't know if I'd be able to run it and stream it simultaneously. And I don't have a server anyway. But maybe. No need to apologize for being AFK. Indeed, taking on some uh, such perilous duties has earned you a great deal of trust, Umber. It's like I always say, behavior is a mirror that reflects one's true nature. You let your actions do the speaking for you, Ember, and the message is clear as day. It doesn't matter one whit where you're coming from. You're part of the Survey Corps and Jubilee Village now. The next day. Isn't it nice getting up early? No. <laughs> One survey recommends. Let me just go watch a video and watch and see what's called. Alright. Is it? It's not as if getting up early changes what you could do with the day. Yes, it does. It opens up possibilities, such as responding to Commander Commodore's invitation today in a timely manner. <laughs> Okay, and this? Okay, guys, imagine this as being me and Brian. <laughs> In this case, I'm Irida, the one who's like... 
it doesn't matter what time I go to sleep and what time I wake up, because I still get all the sleep I need. I, you know, I still get my eight hours of sleep. I still do stuff. I'm still awake and do everything I need to do in the day. And then there's Brian, who's like, go to bed early, wake up early. <laughs> so this is what me and my brother's like. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, I got that same invitation. I had to wake up even earlier than you to run all the way here for it. Come on, no need to growl so much over a nice little early wake up. Thank you, Will. Are you coming too? I'm sure we can all guess what the commander wants with us. Yes, do come. Galaxy All is quite close anyway. So yeah, that's what, that's what conversation with me and my brother's like when it comes to the when you should go to bed and wake up. Because, okay, my... Ever since my focus became more on YouTube and stuff, and I didn't have to wake up super early anymore for school, right? So, it slowly became I stay up later and later, and I wake up later and later because I don't need to wake up super early now. So I'll go to bed at like 3 a.m. and wake up at like 11. So I, I still get all the sleep I need. Because what, 3, 11, that's still, you know, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's still 8 hours. And I still, you know, I still, you know, do everything I need to do. Like shower, brush my teeth, get dressed, uh, do dishes, clean kitchen, stream. I still do all that stuff and I still get everything done. It's just... I don't wake up at a time that he thinks is a reason- I don't wake up and go to sleep at a time he thinks is reasonable. <laughs> We've now quelled the frenzy of our four nobles. Nice! Welcome to Discord. Got off with Shiny, but I haven't beaten Cleaver. Oh, that sucks. Okay, on to the next one. When word of these frenzies arrived from all over Hisui, I feared that what would become of us. But here we are, already preparing to quell the final noble. No, I've never played Pokemon Unite. Now who would have dreamed some stranger to tumble out of the sky would be our salvation? Life never does stop surprising you. The only lord left to be quelled is Avalug, which lives in the Alabaster Icelands. He is also the largest of the nobles, according to what Irida told me. Your mission is to quell Avalog, the final lord. And perhaps in doing so, we may trigger some change in the space-time rift as well. Avalog may be the Pearl Clan's noble, but my clan and the galaxy team will have to step up to resolve this too, for the sake of a brighter future. It's gun-free. I just have a lot of other things I've been doing. I don't play a lot of video games much, actually. Really, the most I play video games is when I'm streaming, and the rest of the day, I'm usually not playing, like, anything. This is where you can get Hisui and Zorwa. I would love Hisui and Zorwa. The next time meets in the cold reaches of the Alabaster Icelands. Until then. But we'll do Alabaster Icelands next stream. For the rest of this stream, we'll just be doing whatever. No matter how many of these frenzied Pokemon you may quell, the fact remains that you are a stranger to our world. No small number of people still regard you with suspicion and distrust. The most you can hope for is to gain the trust of as many as possible, and to do that, you must prove yourself through your actions. I quelled four nobles, sir, and I've done so many side quests. It's pure normal. Uh, Hisuian Zoroark is, at least, n normal ghost. Yeah. Why are you on the floor? Signing what? It's a wormpole. Abra, teleport this wormpole outside at once. Signing, it's it's a wormpole signing. Granted, it's a bug Pokemon. I probably wouldn't e like it either, but you know. <clears throat> so, you're to survey the Alabaster Islands next. This is the most treacherous climb you'll face all in all Hisui. It would not be an exaggeration to say that you might be the only one among the Survey Corps I can task with surveying the Alabaster Icelands. You know your orders. See your mission through. It is, kind of. I, I... Yeah, I don't have enough to. 
Okay, is there anything I can... Okay, nothing I can accept through here. Okay, fine, we'll upgrade our inventory. Well, I have three more. Okay, 4,000. It gets super expensive. Okay, 5,000. Inventory. It's so expensive in this game. 6,000. My goodness. It's so expensive. Which generation had the best bugs? Um... I'd like to say Gen 5. I like both Levani and Scolipede. They're cool. Would gladly use either of them. I did use, actually, a Scolipede in my playthrough of Black. Scolipede's cool. What else? Though I also do like a Golisopod from uh, Sun Moon. And Vikavolt's cool. So Gen 5 and Gen 7, I liked their bugs. But other than that, don't have any major opinions on any of them. Alright. So let's return... Oh. So we're to make for the Alabaster Ice Sands? Yeah, that's not where I'm going yet, sorry. Or... That's right, I guess. Never mind, we're going to the Ice Sands, I guess. I see. Of course, I'm all too aware of the injuries done to some of our own good people because of the frenzies of the other nobles. There seemed little choice but to intervene. But this Avila got in the Alabaster Ice Sands hasn't harmed a soul, as I hear it. The three behoove us to go out of our way to subdue him. If Didn't they say with Electro that he was suffering? So yes, even if he's not like hurting anyone, he's still a suffering Pokemon. So yes, we should still go out there and quell his frenzy. Then for is my boy Cricketune. I don't know, I don't have like major opinions on Cricketune. I do like Cricketune, though. It just... I don't have any major opinions on it. If Avalog's as huge and strong as they say, there's a good chance you could start an Avalanche. Avalanches don't require any people, uh, any Pokemon's help. They occur perfectly well on their own, you know. I confess I still have my doubts whether we should be even be getting involved in this case. No damage has been done so far, but if we send Ember out there, we'll be putting her in danger of real harm. But people say the frenzies make the nobles suffer, right? So wouldn't it be a kindness for us to call the- Exactly! Yes! Thank you, Ray. There's simply so much we don't yet understand when it comes to the noble Pokemon. We don't know whether their frenzies truly are causing them to suffer, nor do we know why they enter these states in the first place, or if this is all connected somehow to space-time rift. What is it, I wonder, that the commander hopes will come about from our calling the nobles? Or indeed, from surveying any of the Pokemon of this land. What is it he hopes to achieve? Protecting everyone? Indeed, the better we understand our Pokemon neighbors, the safer we'll all feel and be. But if the real goal of this mission is to quell a noble for quelling's sake, rather than for the sake of scientific study, then... Okay, but even if you don't know for sure if the Pokemon's suffering, shouldn't you still quell it so that way, like, like just in case it does? Like, it's better safe than sorry, right? Professor. Ah, nothing to bother yourselves about. Doubtless I'm just being a silly sausage. You've got a mission to carry out, haven't you, Ember? Then we will support you in it. How about I offer my support by giving you another shot at honing your battle skills? I'm gonna win. Yeah, but I'm still glad I get to battle you. I owe you a lot, you know. If you hadn't tumbled down to us, I might never have learned to battle alongside Pikachu. Alright, so Battle Ray. He has Mr. Mime. Who are we sending out? Glacier, okay. Okay, Mr. Mime's using Psychic. 
Defensive stats lowered. Uh, let's do a strong Ice Beam. Oh, just barely survived. Maze Man, yes, it is Maze Man. Okay, this Mr. Mime's gonna kill. Rest in peace, Glacier. You did well. Okay. I'll send out Carpure. Thank you, Noel. I'm glad that you enjoyed them. Okay, I could just air slash. There's not a point in brave birding. But I'll brave bird whichever comes next. Unless it's Pikachu. If it's Pikachu, then I'll just switch. If this is a Nuzlocke. Thankfully, it's not a Nuzlocke. Oh. Yeah, okay, that's rough. Hey, we've reached the point in the game where we're not super overleveled. I don't know if I would have cried. I don't tend to get too attached to Pokemon. Alright, that's strong Venishock. Let's see what we do. Oh no, I would have lost like all my Pokemon, but also I'm not playing it like a Nuzlocke either. I don't get super attached to my Pokemon. I, you know, I like them and all, but... I can't... Oh, I could have spored. I kind of forgot to, though. And it, yes, the Parasect has spore, but that's because of the Pokedex. Okay, that's gonna murder. And here we could just wild charge with Luxray. What's my favorite monster in Monsters of Etheria? Uh, Umbris. Yes, I have Spore because of the Pokedex. It's a Pokedex requirement to have Parasect use Spore a lot. The way you battle makes fighting long said Pokemon look like the most natural thing. Why are you so strong, Sono? <laughs> Good luck on your mission in Iceland. This sounds like it'll be a perilous one, dealing with a huge Pokemon like Avalug. Spore is cool. Alright. As for me, I'll set off for the Alabaster Islands for, uh, forthwith. See you there, my girl. Alright. Except I'm not actually going to go to the Alabaster Islands because uh, that's not what I'm doing this stream. The Minion. Huh. I don't. I'm not really concerned about an outbreak at the moment. Let's just go back to Cornet Highlands and see what else we could find. Nice Galaxy Snake. It looks... Galaxy Snake looks really cool. Oh, Rainbow Galaxy Snake too, actually. Nice. Okay, so let's just see what else we can find around here. Because we def like definitely did not spend very much time here. Heavenward Lookout. Okay, there's Luxray. Okay. I think I might be able to hide this time. Hmm. Oh no. Darn it. Yeah, once Luxray is suspicious, it will see you. Oh, Satchel, actually. That person get killed by Luxray or something. Any other Satchels? No, there's no other Satchels. But I can return that one. There we go. There you go, Max. Let me just see what we can find. My brother actually was on Ember Stream for Monster Theory. Oh! Nice, it's been a long time since I've streamed Monster Theory. We actually did a decent number of those streams too. We did like five of them. Because there was the first one I did where we didn't really have a goal. There was the second one that I did where we... Well, I was there, and I was also doing homework. <laughs> Just sometimes. Every once in a while, because I had to do that. Because balancing streaming with school and stuff. Very fun. 
And then... What else? We had the hide and seek one. We had the one where I was role playing with Vince Haller. And I think we had another one. You could choose what shiny alpha. What would you choose to get? And right now the shiny I'm most interested in, in this game, like in general, I think would be just Hisuian Zoroark. I really like it. And if I wasn't going the Latin naming scheme, I'd name him Lot <laughs> Lotavi just because uh, there's reasons. I would I would want a shiny history in Zorwark and name it after Lotavi. Yeah, I did go I did go AFK for a bit to do homework. Because unfortunately school exists. And thus homework exists. Okay, let's check out the Wayward Wayward Caverns. Cave. Wayward Cave. Just kind of see what we could find. Hope you blow up and I can brag. Uh, a notification popped on my computer. About being one of your first 2,000 subs. Thank you. It'd be very helpful for me, like, doing this for a living to blow up. I don't know exactly how I'd feel about it, like, emotionally, though. Because I'm not a very social person. Like, I kind of like where I'm at right now. Where there's, like, like you guys are here, but it's not like there's so many people there. It stressed me out. Though, granted, I mean, more people will be very helpful to me also. Because I enjoy doing this. And it's easier to do it whenever you're doing, you know, actually better on the platform. Thank you. An online school, so I guess I home. That's what I did last year. But I still had, like, a lot of work. And with how the family is, you aren't allowed to, like, you know, do stuff on electronics if you're not, uh, like, before certain times. It's still basically the same thing. Hello, little sleeping gibble. Bop. Is this, like, under where they're cycling, like, the cycling path would be? Or am I thinking of a different game? The cycling path is in Sinnoh, right? And then there's the cave where you go in and catch- or you can catch Gibble. This is that cave, isn't it? Oh. What's fast here, I wonder? I like caves. This- as far as caves go, though, this one's a little uninteresting, but that's why- Oh, hey, there's an unknown. Okay, let's see if we can catch it. Can I- That's not what it would happen. Okay. L. There we go, we got the letter L. Yeah, I do like caves. This is not the most interesting caves, but caves in general are cool. There's a really cool cave in um, black and white called Charge Stone Cave. And they had like these electrically charged, well, stones. And there were like floating rocks and stuff and you push them around. That was a cool cave. One of like the most interesting caves in a Pokemon game, I think. Charged Stone Cave was cool. And game, and like more recent, more recent Pokemon games have had some more interesting caves. But caves in old Pokemon games, it's just there's so many encounters, it's like, ah, why? Oh, I wonder what's over there. And up there. Okay, which way do I go? Do I check what's up there, or do I check what's in the water area? There's something in the water area, isn't there? What is, is that a Basculin? Yeah, that is where you get Joltik. That's a Basculin, isn't it? Oh no, it's a barboke. Barboach. How do you pronounce it? Uh, it's mad at me. Alright. Oh hey, Whiskash. And there's the Alpha Crobat. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Down we go. 
Ow. Okay, yeah, that's, um... Good view. Sorry, I bumped it. But I saw a dead side because it was a sleeping not. Oh, boy. That would have been very concerning. Ow. Okay, that kind of hurts. I was going to say I wouldn't survive a wild charge, but I would have a better chance at actually murdering it. Come to think of it. Okay, now it's asleep. Okay. Can I can a strong thunder fang take care of it? You took a screenshot. All right. Oh boy. Nope, that did not work as intended. Oh, wait, I can maybe try to catch it actually. Okay, you're an alpha crowbat. Wait, this is a shiny crowbat. Also, why is crowbat as big as it is? My favorite Pokemon is Reshiram. Thank you, Will. Yo, Alpha Crobat. And we did not lose our entire party there. Okay, we got that Wisp. And now I want to check out what's on the other side. All right. We can go ahead and get the Sky Temple Stone. And just asleep down there. He's chilling. And then there's the Barboach. Yeah, my favorite Pokemon's Reshiram. It's a very pretty Pokemon. Okay, now we can go up here. So what's over here? Okay, there's another whisk cache. Another water tunnel. Okay, and there's another path over there. I'll check the other path that's over there. Just to see what's over there and then come back and... This is this a dead end? Huh. Well, that's... A bit. A little bit anticlimactic. Okay, so what's over here? Is this just the same? Oh, it's just the other side of... Okay. And then what, we could follow the torches out? Shane or Wolfsovian is overrated. I like both of them. But I don't like absolutely. I don't know. I like them. I don't really know if I'd say they're overrated though. I just I like them. But Sylveon's not my favorite evolution. Vaporeon is. All right, where are we going now? Could we just, like, use Sneezer and go up here? Yeah. Screw caves at the moment. I don't know what my favorite shiny is. I don't really have a solid opinion for that. Okay, there's Big Psyduck. What else? Okay, there's Parasect. And let's climb up here. Using Gen 1 Pokemon theme. Wow. Interesting. Alright, I'm gonna go back into what looks like that temple area and see if there's anything else interesting in there. Thank you, Axolotl. I'm definitely glad you think so. Bop. There we go, some pink apricorns. Why'd I specify there? I'm used to, like, 
heart gold and soul silver where there's all the different kinds of apricorns, not just like pink. And then what Pokeballs you can make depended on the color of the apricorn. That's why I specified they're pink automatically. Oh no. And because in Pixel 1 they're all different. Oh. I don't know why I said oh as if I'm surprised that I can go up here. No, it makes sense to go up here. I just didn't really think of it for some reason. Hmm. Nope. Wasn't there a thing I could collect somewhere in here? Like somewhere at the top of one of these things. I think so. I'm gonna surprise this bronze door, I think. Bop! <laughs> I tried. Now it's mad at me. What's over? Okay. It's just a different time of day. Oh, wait, no, it's back over there. Thank you, Ventowler. Uh, I used to play the main legacy, but they haven't updated in a while. I played it all on the channel. Maybe I should do a season 3 the Nuzlocke again, but I just haven't really thought of doing it. Well, I've thought of doing it, it just... I haven't actually done it. Ah, your computer crashed. That sucks. Okay, where are we going now? Well, we can't... Why do I hear an alpha noise? Oh, that's why I hear an alpha one noise. Makes sense. Can you turn around, please, Motham? Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, oh, no. Retreat. And back up we go. Yeah, the fourth battle theater does need to come out. Okay, I cannot go any further. My, re my retreat failed. I can't go that way. There we go, can collect that. There's a gold bat over there. Up. Oh. <laughs> so I'm right next to why do I hear boss? <laughs> yeah. Just right next to the boss. Right next to Alpha. Why do I hear Alpha music? Turns it on. Oh, that's why. Hi Mothim. I it, I just did not immediately notice the, you know. I just did not notice the alpha moth. I'm just sitting right there. I need to catch a few of you, so I should probably do that. Or try to at least. There we go. Caught a parasect. Okay, well, Ember again, another shiny. Maybe. I'm probably at some point playing the game. Because that just seems to be what my luck is. For some reason. I don't know why that's my luck in this particular game. It just is. Alright, maybe I can catch a gold bat. Ow. Not if you blow my cover, I can't. That was rude. Okay. How do I want to do this? Uh, I think I want to do this the retreat method. Retreat method seems alright. Yeah, always that one item in your room that looks like a person. What item is that for me? Uh. Okay, before I washed it, I think it was... Um... This particular robe I had hanging out, it wasn't, it was like outside of my closet. It's the only article of clothing I really like hang outside of my closet. I just had it there. This, I already know this isn't the way I can go. Why did I try to do that again? 
So yeah, there was a robe that was hanging up, so that kind of mildly looked like a person, I think. I gotta collect that. Hello, Parasec that's angry at me and wants me to die. Um, start after. <laughs> and then we can try and get some of the brave birds out of the way. See, that was on a couch and scared me two days in a row. Oh, man. Don't say that... I wouldn't say there's usually an item in my room that looks like a person, though. Like, I don't think there's any right now. Oh. Hello, Alpha Mothim. I return. And this time I will succeed in catching you. Or trying to catch you. I'm just gonna... Yep. So when I said this time I will succeed in catching you, I, I just... Yep. That's exactly what happened. My closet's always closed, so... I don't really see the stuff that's in there usually unless I open it. Also, my closet's kind of a mess, honestly. I don't know why I specify that my closet's a mess when... Like, recently my entire room's just been a mess. Because I haven't gone around to cleaning it. I always kind of think, you know? Hey, I should, uh... I should clean... This room. Like, I, it comes to my mind a lot. I always consider cleaning the room. And then I never actually do it. The cleaning of the room just never happens. And it probably should. But also, I'm the only one who's ever, like, in my room, really, so... I'm the only person that can really bother. But there's a lot of stuff I should put away, probably. Oh. There you go, Motham. Nice. Okay, where am I going now? I don't really know. I'm just kind of wandering around doing stuff. What do I want to do before the stream ends? I should probably set a goal so that way I'm not just kind of wandering around aimlessly and then randomly decide, okay, now I'm gonna end. I should probably have it be something that makes a lot more sense. Um, how close am I to doing Star Raptor stuff? Okay, we can finish off maybe the air slashes. We'll do four more air slashes and then I'll probably end the stream. Are either of these. I was gonna ask, are either of these big, but. I'll also do the rest of the Brave Birds, I think. No, just Air Slash. And then I'll do Brave Birds. Here's one. Six more levels until I have all the final Evolved Stars in the next scene. Nice! When you go and stream again? Um, recently I've been trying to get into streaming, like, guaranteed every Monday and every Thursday. I want to stream on Saturday. I don't know if I'll be able to, like, set up the stuff I want to stream on Saturday, though. Or, like, wake up early enough, honestly. But I've always- I've been trying to always stream at least Monday and Thursday. Okay, thank you, Noel. See you later. And thank you, Will. Alright. Let's go ahead and collect that. Glacier's almost completely caught up with the rest of the team. Okay, I could throw everything in here. Nice. Sort that. And heal up. Yeah. Because I 
kind of had a thing where I stopped streaming for a while. And I try every time I try to get back in streaming, I kind of like burn myself out and I don't stream for a very long time. So instead of trying to stream every day, I've been like, okay, t Mondays and Thursdays. Those are going to be the days I'll guarantee do it. And that's been working well for me and it's been better for my voice instead of trying to do it every day. So my voice is getting used to doing this kind of thing again. If you have a good day, I'll be watching your stream, just not chatting. Okay, thank you. And thank you, Will. So yeah, we'll, f we'll try and face the Avalug on, uh, on Monday. Oh, hi Heracross. Uh, I'll just chuck a Pokeball and see if that works. Thank you, Will. And... Nice. There we go, Heracross. Okay, there's a Teddy Ursa. I'll try to catch that. There we go. Hopefully that stays in. Okay, it did. Good. I'll go ahead and collect these berries. Hopefully that earth ring doesn't wake up. It did not. So I should be able to just throw that. Hope it stays in. It's probably not, but hey, it's worth a try. A, it did stay in. Nice. Okay, now we're back over here. I think instead of going in, because all that's right in there is like Bronzor and Bronzong. I'm gonna go up here. This is just me being like, okay. I don't have any particular thing to talk about, so I'm just gonna explain my thought process for doing everything I'm doing. There's an Alpha Geodude. Do I need to catch any more Geodude? I think I probably do. Okay, so I'll just. Oh no. <laughs> All right, so there we go, fight it. It's only level 36, so not bad. Okay, let me spore. So it's guaranteed to hit, because I need to do 40 spores. And I have, I only have like three. Why does that Geo do no flamethrower? <laughs> I mean, it's an alpha Pokemon, sure, but dude knows flamethrower. Like at top of the ancient quarry. All right, we could try. There we go. Then we strong ice beam. I don't know. For some reason, flamethrower is just like the last move I expected that Geodude to do. I don't look at a Geodude and think flamethrower. Oh, hello. Okay, where is the ancient quarry? The ancient quarry is there. So the top of it would be like over there. There's another alpha geodude. So this would be the top of the ancient quarry. There's toxic croak. Maybe I can catch some of them without them seeing me. Okay, turn around please. Thank you. Oh no. Okay, and then because you didn't stay in and you're gonna attack me now, this is where I murder you. Okay, so you can air slash. It's not gonna one hit, I don't think. Never mind. I mean, the goal was to murder it, so I guess goal acquired. I just wasn't expecting it to be acquired that easily. Okay, nothing here. Okay, other Tox Croak. And... Would you turn around, please? Oh! You are vastly more interesting than that Tox Croak. <laughs> Hi. You have seen me, you must be murdered die 
Yep, I saw it. There's <laughs> just Alpha Hisuian Gudra. Hello. How do I want to go about doing this? This is how I do. <sighs> okay, I don't have any more sky tumble stones. Turn around again, please. It's not going to. Oh my. Turn around, please. Turn around, please. Just turn around. Just turn around. Other way. Maybe I can lord over. Over here. Now, back over that way. This is a little risky. Maybe? No. Up. Uh. Oh no. You don't see me. All right. Okay, now we're going back over there. Throw a wing ball. Oh no. Would you like to come back over here? I'm doing the Chansey method with the Scudra. <laughs> I will catch it. I'll just take a bit. I will get it though. I will. Ha! I got it. Mission accomplished. Now who sees me? Ooh, Stigu. Hi. Bop. You're cute. Ah. <laughs> Who sees me? Who's trying to murder me? Which one of you is it? Okay, none of you anymore. It's nice. Alpha Guja. Got spectrability, nice. Okay, now I can get the rest of the toxic croak that are just chilling here. Well, okay, how how much further do I need to go on? Okay, I got all the air slashes. So I think I'll just end it with the brave bird to this uh, toxicity call it a stream. So while I'm here, thank you all for being here. It was very pleasant talking to all of you. I had a lot of fun. And I hope that you guys have a good rest of your day or night, whatever it happens to be for you. And that'll be all for this stream. So I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!